Glad to have you join us on this edition of the show. My guest works to help businesses increase sales using data. Our text is on four ways to help you develop a more search engine friendly website. We have quite a lot lined up for you. But first, some tech news and updates. I am Chukomeka Agbata. Welcome to the show. The research rat of the future allows experimentation without manipulation of the real world. This is the cutting edge of modeling technology. Emeka Ugweze is cutting a metal sheet to create a base for his latest invention at his workshop in Oka, a town in Nigeria's bustling southeastern state of Anambra. Ugweze has created a prototype of a generator powered by water. The electricity it generates can last for up to six hours, depending on the energy consumption rate of the units connected to it. Okay, so we'll just connect this is a 12 volt, uh, 7 amps battery, it's a motorcycle battery, just to start up the machine. So you can see. He put together the first model in 2001 and has been progressively improving it. Emeka began experimenting with metal and creating simple lighting and sound systems at the age of five. After experiencing a tragic personal loss due to a malfunctioning generator, he started looking for ways to create safer power generating systems. His machines are powered by high voltage motorcycle batteries with no carbon emissions. I actually lost a friend to a generator thing, which actually brought about this because I wanted to do something that kind of eliminate the, the use of uh, um, gasoline generators in the society. So I'm, I'm actually an advocate of clean energy and um, waste management. The 25-year-old started off as an automobile engineer but then trained further in metallurgy at a technical college specializing in instrumentation and control systems. Emeka has now created over 12 machines that he hopes will solve problems across the environmental, health and industrial sectors. He has been able to get the components he uses to make his inventions through donations from friends, family and even strangers. I usually source my raw materials from waste bins. In fact, I go and get a discarded electronic components. At some point, friends, do a lot of donate like people you see what I do just love what I create they just okay take this use it to get this at the end of the day so as uh, things grows on uh, they keep on happening that way even from social media people have not even known me tend to donate some money just to make sure that the dream doesn't die off Chika Egbe America's neighbor has been using the hydroelectric generator for over a year. It's very, very excellent. I'm even begging him to, you know, sell for me, but he said that it's not possible now. I'm even waiting for any time that he has produced it on going, as in going to the market. I must, that is must. I must even purchase like five for myself and my family. People think that, even some actually tend to dispute that what I'm actually doing is not sustainable, or it doesn't work, or it's a lie, I'm trying to connect something. But uh, at the end of the day, you end up seeing that it's actually real. I'm not saying that we arrived there yet. It still has its own flaws. Nigeria has suffered from decades of chronic blackouts, and it is estimated that about 80 million people don't have access to grid power supplies in Africa's most populous country. Most businesses and homes are forced to run on diesel or petrol-powered generators. 